Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anim and I'm an American living in Japan for over eight years now. Today, I will be elaborating on some of the topics discussed in my last few videos, as well as many of your questions and concerns about coming to Japan. Today's topics are why Japanese people stare, how Japanese people really treat me as a black woman, why I live in Japan, and are Japanese people really nice? Please write in the comments if there are any other topics you would like for me to address in future videos. Let's get started. Why Japanese people stare? I find it funny, irritating, but profitable that so many people who watch these videos continue to assume that I think so many Japanese people stare at me. In my first video, without context, to me it was apparent that the majority of people don't stare. I thought everyone else would be able to see that as well. It was so obvious to me that I felt the need to focus on the few people that did. But for a third time, I think I have to point out look at the majority of the people around me. Most people don't care that I'm even here. Aside from people who may think I'm either attractive, wonder why I'm not wearing a mask, which is not required outside, or are just curious about my hair or who I am, the vast majority pay no attention to me. I expected this boring reaction, but since many people asked about stairs in Japan, I decided to take my demonstration a step further by wearing a white dress, a yukata, and for walking for 10 hours. Slightly more people looked at me in this dress compared to the yukata, by the way, but most people still don't care. But Japanese people are not a monolith. I still don't know if that was an accident or not, but what do you think? I wasn't sure, so I didn't really do anything. With around 37 million people, Tokyo is still the most populated city in the world. You will see many foreigners, not just here, but in other cities throughout Japan as well. Most people don't care about me. However, when I go to Osaka, which is famous for being friendly, people more often approach me and ask if I want to get drinks with them or if I need help with something. I think it's important when traveling to know the different types of stairs. I think in our home countries, we're probably most familiar with disapproving stairs, thus the reason why staring usually seems negative. However, at least for me, it's usually out of curiosity. We all know the racist stairs, and I have received those a handful of times from old Ojichans here. Stairs are most often the start to getting invited to a special Japanese restaurant, going to someone's house for dinner, or just a very warm and memorable interaction that could define your entire Japan experience. I'm not saying you should acknowledge all of the stairs though, because in Inaka, that could be a lot. And yes, more people stare in the countryside because it's so secluded from the main areas. Here's a story. Six years ago, I was at a cafe teaching a private student when this older woman wouldn't stop staring at me. I gave her dirty looks and my assumptions about why she was staring at me went wild. After my private lesson was finished, she came up to me hesitantly and told me she was very nervous to approach me, but was looking for someone to speak English to. I felt so bad. She was extremely shy, and I think it's because she travels so much to Europe that she finally had the courage to approach me regardless of my evil stares. 
So to the many people writing to me in the comments, nervous to travel because of the stairs, you will realize just like in your home country when a stair is not good. In the 12 countries that I visited in my life and the two countries I've lived in outside of the US, these curious positive stairs, if acted upon, are the start to an adventure, if that's what you want. My Japanese grandma is literally the sweetest woman I've met in Japan. We talk every other week since that day six years ago, where she checks up on me, asks about my family members I've introduced her to, and sometimes we watch TV together. But if you don't like the stairs, you can just ignore them, Japanese style. Next, how do Japanese people really treat me as a black woman? When I make these videos, I get so many comments by people telling me that I'm lying. The majority of my audience is American. I am American. And it's Americans that want to know the answer to this question. How do Japanese people really treat me? But that's because race runs everything in America. We look at other countries and cultures through the lens of race too. But outside of America, I haven't experienced American racism. Prejudice, for sure, but not American racism of denying me service, calling me racial slurs out of hate, or fear for my safety because of my skin color. Yes, some of the little kids may call me names here, but it's never out of hatred that makes me fear for my safety or anything. So these comments that are denying my experience and telling me to tell the truth about racism, I don't understand, what do you want? Why are you so adamant about pushing your reality on me? I think for many of us Americans, it's hard to believe. When I was back in America, I used to think that everyone hated black people too. However, and I'm aware of my American status helps, I've more often been given the time and space to show who I am for people to judge me on my character. So my short answer to this question, how do Japanese people really treat me as a black woman? In Japan, I'm treated very nicely. <laughs> like Arthel Isam said in the Black in Japan Jubilee video, we often forget the color of our skin and the race issues back at home because many of us don't experience it here in Japan. I'm not saying racism doesn't exist here. I'm saying that the American racism of fearing for your safety and being denied service. I've never experienced that here in Japan or abroad. I've heard of cases of it happening in other countries, but I think it's important to compare the number of people that go to a country and the number of people where something bad has happened to them in a country. Why I live in Japan I'll always remember when my grandmother took me to a Towson University film festival where I saw Studio Ghibli's Kiki's Delivery Service for the first time. My grandmother told me it was a film from Japan, and after seeing it I thought somehow the character reminded me of that Sailor Moon I watched. Was that from Japan too? Yes, I became interested in Japan because of anime and video games. I studied Japanese in the US for many years but stopped once I got to university. It wasn't until I moved to Peru for six months that I realized I had all the resources I needed to go to Japan at that moment. So I booked my tickets almost immediately and I found a way I could stay in Japan for four months for free. And then I landed a visa. I've been here ever since and loving it. To me, there are so many opportunities and low-hanging fruit outside of my home country, not just in Japan. I think this goes for all people that leave their home country to another country. Your brain just works differently when you're living abroad. Moving on, are Japanese people really nice? All over the internet, many people talk about how nice Japanese people are. But are they really nice? In the last video, I explained about tatemae and honne, where tatemae is how people act around others, and honne is one's true thoughts. Most foreigners who come to Japan will interact with service people at restaurants, hotels, and other attractions where tatemae is a requirement when dealing with customers. This will already give the impression that all Japanese people are nice because the only Japanese people that tourists are interacting with are the ones they have to interact with for their stay. 
Try interacting with the locals. While the tatemai is still there, it's a little different from the service people. It's not bad, but it's just different. The Japanese language has three main politeness levels kudaketa, which is plain form, teine, which is simple polite, and keigo, which is advanced polite. One thing I have seen before is some Japanese people talking to foreigners and using a lower politeness level. If you don't speak Japanese, you can't catch this. Depending on the situation, it could have been interpreted as the Japanese person being rude and annoyed with the foreigner. And other times it was because they could have thought casual Japanese is easier for the foreigner to understand. It really depends on the situation, but I've seen both cases, and in both cases, the Japanese person will have a pleasant smile on their face. But overall, yes, in my experience, most Japanese people are nice. In Tokyo, not friendly, but everyone is pretty nice. Thanks for watching.